Elliot's digger and Dumper are off for a job in Manchester, I think. Peter's getting a motor home ready. Right, we're trying to measure for some concrete. Um, that's flat. I can't, I can't say, right, come on. We, we, I know, walk okay. forwards now. Come on. Same 46 metres and it's not. It's not 46 metres. Try again. Red dot on me, no. Yeah, no. I get it to 13 by striding it. So Anna from Catchman Sensitive Farming used to be a geologist, so I showed her this stone I found the other day. And apparently they're like silty, muddy layers within sandstone, but it probably has got bleached over time, so it's white. I always thought sandstone was red. Random fact. Got some new springs. You can't see a massive amount of difference, but it's really like a coil different. Because they've just lost a bit of tension and when you push down on them. That one's a lot harder than the new one. So that means that we've already changed these now. Springing back. The colts are better. With some of these over there. Which one was it was rubbish? That one, nothing. Yeah, it just doesn't want to spring back. Okay, um, it's only the odd one that seems to have failed up for now. Noticed a slight leak on the boiler yesterday while we're fixing the ash organ that was jammed. So Chris is here now, going to do a bit of TLC on it. Got it opened up now. Going to clean the tubes out. That's where the uh, hot air goes through and all around it's water. Change this tank as well. Uh, we've got two new ones. Going to put two either side here. Just drain the water out of it, but weighs 700 kilos. We drill a hole in it now so the water comes out quicker. Get the air in. Ever wondered how a jet wash works? There's the piston pump. Pushes the water into these little holes here and valves, and then it creates pressure. But it's not. So Rob's just having a look what's wrong with it. And the other look at the week, we get stuff in the valves. What's happened is there, there's a hole to where you put, like it has like a float for the water. When it was such dry weather, that was the only place left that had a bit of water. And we think the rats had basically chewed a bigger hole and been going in and feet drinking the water inside. They like dropped all mud and whiskers and stuff in there and fur. And it was getting in the valves and jamming the valves. So we've just been flushing the whole system out. It's been a right pain. It's not actually broken, it's just that causing trouble every sort of like few hours of running. I've just got some bales of straw in. He's uh, off to the livery yard with them and then he's going to come back with a load of muck. Right, this is the old pressure tank. What should we do with it? Paint it to look like a minion. So that it with concrete, make a weight block. Um, make a log burner out of it. Cut it in half, make two bathtubs I don't know what do you reckon it's got to be a use for it it's made of metal anyway it's not worth weighing and it's not like it's copper or anything Chris has been cleaning it out with this motorised big pipe cleaner you slide it down the tubes there you clean all the dust out so when it's burning hot inside water's sort of around all these bits and then hot air goes through the tube to heat the water this is a blast plate because these shot blasters fire like a shot of air like bang to clean them tubes out but because there's quite a lot of soot and ash in the air it was it was wearing a hole in the actual boiler so this is like a sacrificial plate that you that you blast a bit then put a new one in and that's when it's worn and we've patched it up last time lad's got these in now um so they're sort of like lined up, these three be one a bit smaller, now there's two. So they're all ready to go, hopefully it'll hold its pressure better now. It's a bit awkward, wasn't it, going under there, Chris? A bit awkward getting it in. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, getting wet. Yeah, you're about to start getting silly, Yeah, the lads have been putting them tanks in while I've been at quite a very important meeting. I've been asked to do something which is a huge privilege. 
I'm not sure whether I can tell you yet until sort of December. I don't, I don't quite know. Um, but yeah, I've been to a meeting about that anyway in the city centre today. So watch this space. Um, but anyway, good news. I had a phone call. Something on the way on a big wagon. While I'm waiting for the big delivery, I'm gonna go and do a tanker spray on where we sewn yesterday morning. There's Joe on Nick's old scraper tractor. I'm gonna go and wash Nick's tractor off around the back of the yard because our jet wash Rob stuck it apart, put it back together. Now it didn't work at all. So I think he's gonna um, have another play with it. I don't know if there's something's not it needs bleeding now, I don't know if it's not got any water in the pump. This field was drilled yesterday morning. It's had, I think we had nine mil of rain in the end on it, which isn't too bad. I'm just gonna flip the camera and show you the soil. I reckon that's pretty healthy, don't you? And it's got lots of moss growing in it because moss obviously breaks minerals down and turns into topsoil. Same trick as we were doing on all the other fields. OSR plants. So they're slug food for the time being. Hopefully the wheat shoots will come up out of these slots and the slugs won't graze them because they'll carry on on the OSR. But quite a bit of trash on this. It was straw raked, but it has got quite a trashy straw layer. So hopefully it'll be all right. We won't have to put slug pellets on it. Just have to monitor it pretty closely. Tried a new product on here as well. I think Avidex, but liquid, which used to always be a powder. We used to put it on with the rollers. We haven't used it for a few years. Anyway, this is um, a liquid form. So we'll see how that works as well to control the brome grasses and any ryegrass that could be in it. Just going through the stock with Ian. Uh, everything's sort of disappearing pretty quick, but we've got loads of the polos in at the moment. Um, the hoodies are coming back in stock in the next day or two. So, but they are, we've got plenty of them in every size. So it, it's 10 to six, we've all been waiting in the yard for this tractor to turn up and it hadn't turned up. So we thought, has he run out of driving hours? Anyway, so we just rang, spoke to, well, actually spoke to Richard who was sending it up. He spoke to the driver. It's in Nottingham, he's, uh, he's gone up there to pick another tractor up and I think he's gonna run out of driving hours. So it's not gonna arrive and it might not arrive now until Monday, which is really disappointing. Um, yes yeah, sorry about that i've been like getting you all excited all day as we have been and it's just not arrived so yeah oh well i better do the birthday bumper so it looks like the 936 still retains its title as being the biggest tractor in the yard well i suppose the case is quite big case not as powerful but the case is a uh, case is certainly big anyway let's do the birthdays get to the sprayer dead easy birthday bumper today tom samuel he's on it twice well he's not on it twice but i had a tom samuel who's four twice on the just giving so I presume it's the same person because they're one after the other but if there's two tom samuels at four today happy birthday but you'll not know who's who anyway andrew williams and paul bud also happy golden wedding anniversary to mum and dad so that's 50 years married today 23rd of september i think it is Andrew's changed some of them springs on the drill. It's all ready to go as soon as it dries up enough. Obviously the rain yesterday put us out, out of the game today for sewing. So tomorrow we'll be back on it. Loads of interesting comments yesterday about the interest rate rise. Um, it's amazing that, that no one, at, well, really split. Some people agree that they think that the interest rate should have gone up a long time ago and should have always been higher. Some people are agreeing that it's not the right thing to do. I don't think it is because like I say, I think the inflation that we've got at the moment is from things that are out of control of interest rates fixing that but it's all to do with trying to get the pound to the right value so that we can buy better against the dollar and all this that and the other but from what i read on the news today i think it's gone the opposite way to what they expected i don't know anyway it's um economics you can't really add it up it's all driven on confidence but so many comments yesterday some people agreeing and some people disagreeing it I, i've tried to read them all anyway but thanks for anyone for their input and um as we know, it's a tricky subject. Anyway, that is about all for today. Sorry to disappoint you at the end of the video by not showing you something amazing that's turning up, but wagon drivers and wagons, I don't know what's gone wrong there. Anyway, we'll get on with some stuff tomorrow and then on Mon Sunday, Sunday and Monday maybe, might be down at the Cotswolds as well to go and um, have a look at the Valter launch on Tuesday. We'll just see how things will fall into place with that anyway. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.